Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about the importance of checking the water quality of your ponds. Uh, my pond is stocked with goldfish and with koi and uh, today I'm going to check both the, uh, the, the pH level, the ammonia level and the nitrite level in the waters. It's really important to check these levels every week or a couple of weeks to make sure that you're not running out of whack uh, in the water quality for the safety of the fish. So I'll go through those tests now and you'll see how easy it is to do that. Okay, so the kit I have here is going to check uh, pH, ammonia, and nitrate levels in the pond. Now the test I have here is called API Freshwater Test Kit. It checks, uh, it's good for aquariums or ponds outdoor. So why do we test the pH? pH, uh, pH is the measure of acidity level of the water. A pH reading of 7 is considered neutral. A pH higher than 7 is alkaline, and anything lower than 7 is considered acidic. Okay, so we're going to start here with the pH test solution. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is take the test tube here, fill it up with about 5 milliliters of water up to the, uh, to the fill line, uh, and then I'm going to add 3 drops of this solution. And I'll put the lid back on it. Give it a good shake. And I'm going to hold it up against the pH chart to see if we can get a sense of what color that pH uh, is reading. Okay, now I'm going to check the pH level with the high range test solution. This one will read into a higher bracket. This will go up from 7.4 to 8.8 .8 pH level, which is very alkaline, but uh, certain fish like the goldfish do like a higher range. In this one, we're going to use the five drops of the high range pH solution, trying to take care not to get it on your skin. One's cap, we'll give it a good shake. Yeah, by my eyes, I'd say that's around an 8.4 pH level. Next test I'm going to do now is the ammonia test. So why do you want to test for ammonia? Well, the fish in your pond are continuously releasing ammonia directly into the pond through their gills, their urine, and solid waste. Uneaten food and you know just other plant matter that's decaying will add a certain amount of ammonia, ammonia to the water. So you do want to check this every so often uh, to ensure that the levels are not too high because they will stress the fish. Okay, we're going to add eight drops of the ammonia test solution to the bottle and then we're going to let it sit for about five minutes until it completely can t uh, create a reading. Okay, so now here is a check of what the ammonia level was. And when we hold the test tube, it's been about five minutes have passed. When I hold it up against on this chart, it is very much the lightest color that I'm seeing. No real traces of green in there anywhere, if you can see that with this light. So that tells us that I would guess we have a very, very low ammonia level. So I'm quite happy about that one. Okay, now we're going to do nitrite and nitrate tests. So why test for nitrite? Nitrite is produced in the pond by the biological filter. The beneficial bacteria in the biological filter will convert the ammonia into nitrite, which is also toxic. But then the biological filter will convert the nitrite into nitrate. The reason I'm testing for the high nitrate levels is if they are too high, it shows that the filters are not doing their, 
jaw properly and I'm getting a buildup of too much nitrate in the water. All right, now time to test the nitrite. All right, so here's a check on the nitrite level. And as you can see, the levels are coming out. By what I can tell, I would give that a very good reading. It looks like zero parts per million. So I think we're okay on the nitrite level. And now we're going to test nitrate level. Get some more water and then have a look. We'll add five milliliters to the test tube. And our last test today is the nitrate level. This has sat for about five minutes. And you can see here that we appear to be getting a very good reading on this one as well. I'm seeing uh, that looks pretty much the same yellow as I'm seeing on that chart. So I would call that a zero parts per million as well in the nitrate zone. So quite pleased with all those results today. Hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. If you'd like to see more videos like it, please subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified anytime I put out some new tips on how to keep your pond clean and keep your fish healthy and thriving. Before you go, have a look at one of the other videos you see down below. Thanks for watching, guys.